I'm going to talk you through how to correctly enunciate the sounds in phonics. Um, it's really important that when we are doing phonics with our children that we say the sounds correctly. So for instance, we would say m, mm, not m, or n, mm, not n, d, not d, um, because it helps them when it comes to segmenting and blending that they are actually hearing the sounds said properly, which then when they come to segment words, k, a, t, they're able to say cat rather than cat. So we'll start off. We've got s, sock, a, apple, t, tomato, Post, I, ink, n, nose, m, mouse, d, dinosaur, g, goat, o, orange, k, carrot. Key. K, rocket. E, elephant. A, umbrella. R, robot. H, hand. B, bird. Flower, f, muffin, l, leaf, l, jelly, s, grass. It's really important also that the children see you using your mouth to enunciate the words because that forms a large part of their learning in how to say the sounds correctly. So when you are going through the sounds with your children, make sure they can see your mouth and really pantomime, play up the enunciation of the sounds. It will be a real help for them. Okay, moving on to the next sounds, and we're going to start seeing some digraphs and some trigraphs in this. Digraphs are two letters making one sound, trigraphs are three letters making one sound. So the first one is j, jelly, v, volcano, w, watch, x, fox, y, Yo-yo, z, zebra, z, fizz, qua, queen, ch, chicken, sh, shoe, th, thumb, n, ring, A, rain, E, leak, I, night, O, goat, U, moon, U, book. So this is the first instance where we've got the same digraph making a different sound. Long U for moon, short U for book. So it's really important that you show the children how your mouth makes that sound and really make a difference. M, oon, B, U. R, card. Or. Fork, a burger, ow, cow, oi, coin, 
ear, beard, air, chair, year, pure, a, rubber. So you notice that there were some one, two, three trigraphs in there. We had eye, air and ear. And now we're moving on to sounds that children will be learning in year one. And the first one we've got is A, pray, oi, boy, I, tie, e, leaf. And we've got a split digraph. A, cake, I, slide, O, bone, U, cube, and the same one, same split digraph, but this time it's U, flute. So you've got U, cube, U, flute e trapeze ow mouth a acorn e equal i lion o Hotel. U. Unicorn. Sh. Chef. K. Christmas. A. Uh, girl. U. Statue. Ooh, glue. So we've got the same ones, U and E. U, statue, ooh, glue. Ooh, screw. U, stew. Depending on where you come from in the country, because accent plays a lot in this as well. So I know some people would say stew, some people say stew, so just so that you are aware that there are two different ways of pronouncing that digraph, the EW digraph. You've got oo for screw, u for stew, or few, or however you pronounce stew or few. We've got e for sunny, or saw. Or autumn. O window. O toe. W wheel. S city. J gem. Dolphin. E. Bread. E. Shield. T. Witch. Air. Bear. Air, pear, or core. So obviously there's lots of different ways of pronouncing these sounds and it's really, really important that we know how to pronounce each grapheme, each digraph, each trigraph, each split digraph. 
because it's the only way that our children are going to be able to access those sounds in order to segment and blend. Um, thinking of segmenting and blending, so when we are talking to our children and encouraging them to segment words, to, to read, so for instance, we may have um, three sounds. We may have s, a, and t. And we would say to the children, what are these sounds? Can you say these sounds? And get the children to point to the sound s, a, t, and then blend them together. Sat, 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 and encourage them to really say every sound that they see in front of them, because then you'll end up coming into um, words with four sounds. So you may want to do from, f, er, o, m, from. And this will again encourage them to identify every sound in the words that they are either reading or spelling. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thank you very much.